So today I want to talk to you guys about a number of different topics, but first off, I want to thank you guys for 29,000 subscribers. That number has literally blown my mind. We only hit that yesterday and we're already well on our way to 30,000. So the constant support you guys give this channel is absolutely incredible. Now this time last year I only had 2,000 subscribers. So the last year for this channel has been a pretty mad journey. And we're also about to hit 2 million views as well. So again, it's all down to you guys, your constant support with the likes, the favourites, the views. So I do want to thank you guys, it does mean a lot to me. Now recently, we did pass 200 videos on the channel. And a lot of you guys were asking me, are you going to do anything special for your 200th video? Because you may or may not remember, for my 100th video, I did an over-the-shoulder camera view so you could see my keyboard, my mouse, and see how I moved about during the game. Now, unfortunately, because of all the news and information coming out recently that I wanted to keep you guys on top of, I haven't had a chance to do anything particularly special for my 200th video. So, hopefully, instead, I'll have a cool video coming up for my 30,000 subscriber video, which should be in the next few days. So, keep your eyes out for that. There should be a pretty cool video coming up very soon. Now, finally, before we jump into today's topic, I just want to say, of course, Titanfall is now out in the US. It's out in the UK in a few days, and if you haven't had a chance to pick up a copy yet, I have left a link in the description below to a website called G2A. It's a global gaming website where you guys can pick up PC games for very, very cheap. Now, any of you guys who do buy games from this website, I myself make a very small commission, and any type of money I make from this website, I am going to put back into the channel in the form of maybe a giveaway, or eventually I might buy a server. Now, this is something myself and Westy have spoke about. We had the idea of maybe getting a server together so all of our subscribers can play together, or maybe getting a separate server so we have two servers so more subscribers can play. But either way, if any of you guys do want to buy any PC games, this website has them very cheap. It's a very well-trusted website. A lot of YouTubers use it, so go check it out. Have a look around. If there are any games you want to pick up, it's a win-win situation for you and myself. So go have a look. There are some cool games on there, and Titanfall is very, very cheap. So, now all of that is out of the way, unless you guys have been living under a rock, you will be aware that the naval strike weapons are now in the game and available for you guys to unlock, with of course the exception of the SR338. This weapon does require completing a few assignments that are on naval strike maps, which of course aren't going to be available for another few weeks yet. Now I have already done a video showing you guys how to unlock all of the naval strike weapons. If you haven't seen that already, I will leave that linked in the description below. But as you can expect, we got ourselves five new weapons spanning across different areas of the game. But today, I want to talk to you guys about this weapon, the brand new LMG, the AWS. Now, if you guys haven't had a chance to unlock this weapon yet, I highly recommend doing so. In fact, it should probably be the next thing you do on Battlefield. It's a very simple weapon to unlock. You have to get three LMG ribbons, which are 15 kills, I think, and then destroy four vehicles with a support class. So, very simple to do, and it unlocks you what is undoubtedly the best weapon in the game at the moment. Now, Today we're not going to do a review of this gun, in fact we're not going to do a review of this gun for a while yet because there's absolutely no shadow of a doubt we are going to see a patch come to this weapon very very soon. So until we see the final version of this gun with all its final stats, there's no real point in doing a review just yet. But that gives you all the more reason to try and unlock this weapon as quickly as possible because you all need to give this weapon a go before it's nerfed and put back into its place because currently, as I said, it is definitely the best weapon in the game. It's definitely the most overpowered weapon in the game, but all the same, it is very good fun to use. You all need to try this weapon out before its stats are changed. So what makes this weapon such a good piece of kit? Well, if you could imagine taking all of the best attributes from every single weapon in the game and mixing them together to make a super gun, this is the weapon you would end up with, the AWS. Now, first off, of course, it is an LMG, which means it's one of the few weapons in the game that still has a suppression effect. Now, recently, some people have disagreed with me on this, but I can assure you the LMGs are the only guns in Battlefield 4 to still give out the suppression effect, which, of course, means if you are firing at an enemy player, you will blur his screen, deviate his bullets, and make his shots less accurate, which, of course, will give you the advantage. On top of that, being an LMG also means it has a high capacity for ammunition, a 100-round magazine. 
But unlike other LMGs that are belt fed that have a maybe nine or 10 second reload time, this has a double drum magazine that actually is on par with the other assault rifles in the game. So you're looking at a maximum of three or four second reload time. And of course, with 100 rounds of ammunition, you won't be reloading that often. And alongside this, it also has an extremely high rate of fire of 800 rounds per minute, making it not only one of the fastest LMGs, but also one of the fastest weapons in the entire game. So this is where you might be thinking, well, an LMG, with a high rate of fire, I bet it has really bad accuracy and a lot of recoil. And you'd be wrong. This weapon has an extremely high accuracy and you can fire practically non-stop and keep your aim on target. So by combining all of these attributes, you have got yourself one hell of a super weapon. You've got suppression, a high rate of fire, great accuracy, and of course a 100 round magazine, which means you will win the majority of firefights just out of sheer firepower alone. So as you can expect, I don't think we will be seeing this weapon staying the way it is for too much longer. This is definitely the M16 of Battlefield 4. So before this weapon does get patched and sees a slight nerf, I think we're probably going to see a lot more recoil put onto this weapon because as I said, it's laser accurate at practically any range at the moment. You see any target, you just spam the bullets down range and you will get the kill. So my most likely bet is we will see an increase to the recoil on this gun. So before that happens, I do recommend unlocking this gun and have some fun. It is a real cool gun and at the moment you will win nearly all firefights with this beast. So that's all I've got time for today guys. I hope you did enjoy enjoy this video if so don't forget to hit like and leave all your thoughts and comments below they do massively help me out and they are always appreciated and of course if you want to buy yourself any cheap pc games as i said check out that link in the description below you will not be disappointed but in the meantime guys thank you for watching and i'll see you soon